but despair is specifically addressed in the Quran as a quality that is forbidden for the believer. It's actually, again, one of the kaba'ir in Islam is to ever despair, right? We do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he says in the Quran because with Allah is all hope, right? All hope is with Allah. So I just wanted to address that. Uh, but in terms of what happens when you feel like you're going through a great trial and tribulation, but you're just not moved in the direction of uh, turning to Allah, and maybe that just feels ineffective. This is where I think the company you surround yourself really will make a difference. Because if you're immobilized by something in your life, which often happens, you know, grief, uh, tragedy strikes, something happens, sometimes we get immobilized. But when you learn what Sabrun Jamil is, um, it is specifically described as at the strike of a calamity, you turn to Allah having, you know, uh, this, this sense of, of calm that everything will be taken care of. Now to get there, to get to that level of awareness, you need to have good teachers. You need to have people reminding you of these things. Because when we're left alone, what happens is Iblis comes, right? When we're by ourselves secluded, which is a very dangerous part of the modern world, we're so insulated from community in many cases that Iblis is all around us and he's the one putting all these ideas like ah what's the big deal there's no point there's no hope it's all from him it's waswasa to combat that you need good company you need good teachers you need good reminders so uh, surround yourself with good people who will hold you in that time and their words will carry you inshallah until you can get to that point yourself